Welcome children, take out your geography book. Today's topic is periodic or seasonal winds, land and sea bridges. Land and sea bridges are local periodic winds on a diurnal rather than on a seasonal basis. The result when differential heating takes place within a relative short distance, a condition which occurs most commonly near the sea coast. Their air movement may be generated either by heating or cooling of a particular area. The sea bridge develops along sea coast or large inland water bodies in summer when the land heaves much faster than the water on a clear day and a low pressure develops over the land. Under this condition in the day, the air blows from the sea to land as there is high pressure on the sea and wind always blow from high pressure to low pressure. The air movement from the sea to land reaches the greatest intensity during the afternoon. In the equatorial region, it is a regular phenomena where it brings some relief to the hot, humid coastlands. Elsewhere, it is generally a summer phenomena. It varies considerably in strength along the same coast, being influenced by topography. The sea bridge rarely has a depth of more than 1000 meters and its maximum strength does not extend inland more than 50 kilometers. It begins offshore in the late morning hours and gradually extends inland to decrease the afternoon temperatures. Towards evening, it subsides because of sea bridge areas on the immediate coast in middle latitudes and the tropics may have lower temperature than a few kilometers inland. The sea bridge brings cool air from the seas thus dropping temperature. The land bridge is a diurnal wind blowing from the land out to sea. It is caused by the differential heating of land and sea. The cooling of the air over the land by radiation during the night causes the air to descend and flow seawards. During the night, there is high pressure over the sea as it takes more time to get healed and cooled. It is therefore confined to coastal regions and lakeside as through a characteristics of tropical land may also be observed in the temperature zone during summer. It is developed when the general pressure gradient is low on land and the sky is clear. The land bridge is much influenced by topography and varies considerably in different parts of the coast. On the island and along the coast near the equator, the sea bridge brings a welcome relief from the stagnant human heat, humid heat. In some islands, these winds are so regular that fishing boats go out at night with the land bridge and returns next afternoon with the sea bridge monsoon winds. These are periodic winds like the sea and land bridges on a large scale. The monsoon is a seasonal wind which blows in a fixed direction during a particular season. It reverses its direction as season changes. The word monsoon is derived from the Arabic word mosim meaning season. This wind develops due to differential heating of land and sea temperature. Hence, they can be considered as land and sea bridge on a large scale. These winds can be best noticed in Southwest Asia and Northern Australia. They are divided into two wind systems and the summer monsoon and the winter monsoon. Summer monsoon. During summer, the land gets heated faster and low pressure is formed or created in the interior of Asia. As a result of low pressure, most winds from the seas or ocean blow towards the interior. The summer monsoon winds blow from sea to land during the hot season and bring heavy rainfall. We call this as southwest monsoon. Because they enter the Indian subcontinent from the southwest, these blow during the month of June, July, August and September. Winter monsoon. During winter season, the weather conditions are just the reverse of summer. A high pressure zone develops over the interior of the continent as there is a sudden drop in temperature. The land cools and the high pressure is formed in Central Asia. Cold winds from the interior of the continent blow over the sea. These winds are offshore winds and bring less rain. They are also called the Northeast Monsoon because they blow from the Northeast. Local winds, mountain and valley winds. Mountain and valley winds may be termed as periodic winds which undergo a complete daily reversal. 
the alternating direction in a manner similar to the land and sea bridge on mountain side under a clear night sky the higher land radiates much heat faster and is cooled and the air comes into contact with it the cool denser air then flow down the mountain slope into the valleys these winds are cold and dry since they blow from the cold ice cap region catabatic and an anabatic winds catabatic is a local wind caused by the flow of air flowed by radiation down mountain slopes and valleys it is also caused by the flow of cold air down the slopes of ice caps such as antarctica and greenland it is caused by ground surface cooling as a result of radiation which in turn cools the lower air layers with the rapid loss of heat by radiation the mountain or ice cap becomes cold and the shield here moves downward due to the force of gravity the direction of flow is controlled almost entirely by orographic features anabatic is an upslope wind formed when air on the hill sides is heated by insulation to a greater extent than here at the same horizontal level but vertically above the valley floor this causes convectional rising of the heat here which is replaced by cooler air from the valley floor the local winds may be classified as number 1 hot local winds number 2 cold local winds some of the hot local winds are hermeton Kamsin, Lu, Sirocco, and Zonda, and the cold local winds are Blizzard, Bora, Vuran, Fiagem, Greeley, Levanter, Mestro, Mistral, Foin, and Nevadas. Note, note, note. Pampero, Papequé, Polar Outbreak, Purga, Solano, Southerly Buster, Tramento, Velvasco, Velaway. Hamilton hot it is a strong northerly northeasterly wind experienced in west africa blowing direct from the sahara desert it is so hot dry and dusty that sometimes it split the trunks of trees through mali and niger when it penetrates to the guinea coast in winter it provides a welcome relief from the mist heat and is beneficial to health on the other hand it carries with it abundant dust from the desert and a thick haze is sometimes from which impedes river navigation it may cause severe damage to crop it is so dry and dusty as to be often injurious to health its average southern limit in winter when its equatorial belt of low pressure is along to south of guinea coast is about 5 degree north in mid summer however it is about 18 degree north kamsin which is a hot wind It is a hot and dry southerly wind experienced in Egypt. In character, it resembles to the Sirocco of North Africa. According to Arabs, it blows for a period of 50 days from April to June. The name Kamsin, being the Arabic word for 50, it allows it blows ahead of the depression which moves eastwards along the Mediterranean Sea or across Africa and often carries with it. considerable um, quantity of dust from the interior south it is also known as sia and with this i am ending my today's class goodbye